Hey guys, Tom McMurker here again. Back with another video on my summer car. <laughs> Now, if you remember in the last episode, we did run to the haunted house, pick up these wheels here, and we need those basically to uh, build all this up, put on the steering column, subframe, brakes, suspension, and the wheels. And then once we've built that up, we can then push it in here and start work on the engine. So what we're going to do, just going to open these doors up a bit, and we're going to get the toolbox. The CF key to open. So that's set up. And I'm going to get the jack, floor jack, push it over to the car, and that might not be the best position. Let's move it forward just a touch. That should be okay though. So I'm going to jack the front of the car up to probably around. There should be okay. Because then what we've got there is when we're fully crouched down, we're about wheel height or top of the wheel height. So, what we need now is we'll start with the subframe. We'll come over, crouch, stand back a bit, and use the Q key. I think I've just, you know, I can pop that in there. Now, I'm going to do most of this, well, and that should be all of this, from memory. Wish me luck, because it's been a while since I've actually put this together. Phone call, let's go and see what that job's all about. So we've got a sewage job now in lock. Yeah, so that's our first sewage job. Ready? I'm going to let it accumulate to four at least, uh, before we actually go out in the sewage truck and start doing the sewage jobs. Uh, let's try 10 mil. I think it could be 10. There we go. Yeah, so with, with this, with this toolkit, you just scroll up, scroll down. Oh, Titans, down resources. But there will be another toolkit I'll be getting at some point in the near future. Which will allow us to just press the F key and uh, it will switch direction because it's on a ratchet type system instead of this handheld one way Titans, lefty Lucy, righty tighty, jobby. Right, so that's the subframe in. I'll just go around and just quickly check the bolts. Yep, they're all good. And then what we'll do is we'll just come over here and pick up the front right wishbone. Chuck that over there. The front right steering rod. The front right hub, as I'd call it, not a spindle. And a brake disc. Before we do that, I'm just going to put in the steering rack, which I think. Yep, it's the wrong way around. I should be able to just slot that on top of there, like so. 
And if I remember rightly, that's a nine. So we're tightening that down. There's four bolts on this. Two over here. And two over there. That's that tight. Right, so now we'll just go and grab the wishbone for the right side and slot that into these two bits here put that on the right side come on let's try it this way, I don't need to dis it make sure it's this way here I'll just try it on the other side as well I think I may have the wrong side. Yeah, I do. Tell you what, let's, let's do this side first then. Means we've got those parts out. Is that one? We'll just grab these two bits, move them a bit closer. Should have. Oops. Steering joint just down here. Like that. Steady. Just pick the toolbox up. Get around here. Alright, so they are 12 as far as we're in on that. Yep, one. Ten. Yep, ten. One and a two. Right, next, we need spindle or the hook. It's not cool. Slots in there. Now, this one I can't remember. I'm sure that's a quite a small bolt actually. It could be a 12. I'll just try 12 for this. Is a 12 here. So 12 mil in the bottom of there. That's tight. And we'll pick up the steering joint. Slots into the end of that. And that's a 12 as well. Now with this you can pull that bolt in before the suspension arm goes on, so you'll be fine just putting that on and see. And we'll slot that in there. Now what we'll do is we'll fetch the front right suspension leg, chuck that over there, and also the half shaft, one of them. And drop that in down there. So if you grab it at the end here, just try and feed it in through there. There's the tick, and that is a 14. Put that bolt in there. And it's nice and tight. Grab the suspension leg. That's actually remarkable, I'd never get that on the first go, ever. Um, I do believe they are... Six? I want to say. Or an eight. Nine. So nine on the back of here. There's four of those. Sometimes the bottom one's going to be a bit tricky. There we go. We're on this side. One. And two. Now this is one I always forget to do. 
but we need a 10 mil. The one's on the top of here. So there's three on the top. I always get, because I'm so used to being at the bottom of the car, I go around, do that side, do the other side, and then completely forget about these two on the top. And the same for the rear. I always forget those. Which is not advised. Um, because it can just fall off as soon as you move the car. Right, so what we've got here is wishbone, bulb or spindle, disc, steering, um, steering arm and a half shaft. Now what we'll do is we'll take the toolbox around the other side, pop it down there and we'll go and fetch the bits for the other side. So, repeat the process before. We've got wishbone, steering joint, pop, brake disc, what we'll do is we'll take the half shaft and the suspension like what we're at it. The thing I like about this is you don't have to worry about breaking anything, so you just throw it. Right, we'll start with the wishbone. Pop that on. Yeah. Get the 12 now again. No, it was 10. Time 1. One thing I do like doing is zooming, which reduces the sensitivity on your mouse while you're trying to tighten bolts up. Because there's nothing worse than trying to tighten a bolt up and the sensitivity of your mouse is just like that all over the place. Especially when you're trying to scroll. Don't need that. Uh, so, steering rod. That's that one. And that's a 12 again. Oh. Try and pick it up the right way around. Get that one. That's a 12 on the bottom of there as well. Half shaft in now. That was. Might not let us without the brake disc actually. So I'll pull the brake disc on. That wasn't quite putting the brake disc on. There we go. Grab that. That's in there. Come on, that's it. We want 14. And the end of that. Then we want the suspension leg. Wow. It's really letting me go for it today. Uh, nine. So there's one on the top, one on the bottom, it's not going to let me get it, there we go, around the side, top one, and come on, bottom. And then before we forget, 10 for the top. Now what we'll do is we'll go and grab two wheels, and then it's 14 bolts if I remember rightly. 
four of those, and then we'll drop, drop the car down and start the rear. So, we'll grab a wheel, throw that one over there, and this one over here. But these used to be directional for the might need to put the car a bit more. So you used to only be able to put these wheels on a certain corner of the car, but he's changed it now so that you can put any wheel on any corner. I don't really care. Let me just add this wheel, put that one on that side. We want a 40 mil. No, not 40 mils. 13s? Yeah, 13s. So you've got four 13s this side, fours, uh, four 13s on the other. Once you've got them all timed up, you'll notice the car stop shaking about and doing all sorts of weird things. Just because it's actually got physical connection to the car. Then. And we'll do these four. I mean, there are some hubcaps you can put on this car, and I think you can paint the wheel. Well, don't quote me on that one. I know I have painted the wheels before, but I'm not sure whether we removed that option a little while ago. But yes, um, so we can lower the car down now, and that is the front one. So, what we've done here is Subframe, steering rack, two, suspend, uh, two steering rods, we've got two half shafts in there, or drive shafts, call, like to call them. Um, wishbone, hub, brake disc, and suspension on both sides. So what we'll do now, is we'll take the car, uh, jack around the back of the car. It just underneath the boot floor. Not do that. And check them back up a bit. And I want sort of roughly similar height, but we don't want to tilt it up too much because if we do that, when you start putting stuff on, the car can start to slowly roll forward. And if it falls off this jack, you can start to cause damage to the rear end and these side panels so you don't want to be doing that so what we'll do is we'll pick the toolbox up and move it back a bit we'll go and fetch the parts we need for the rear so we want now that I know which side it is rear left trailing arm one brake drum one shock absorber and a coil spring. What we'll do means we're here, we'll just grab the uh, right side ones, just chuck them over in the general direction because then it saves us having to come back in the garage to fetch them. So, throw them a little bit further. So we start the trailing arm, and that goes just here, inside of it, and that again should be a 10mm, like the front, however I think I'm wrong, let's try 12, so the 12's on the rear, 10's on the front. Now one thing I will mention is, um, you, you can do the brake lines now, because there are, as you can see here, a couple of brake lines that run down here, same on the front, but I tend not to do that until I've got, I tend to do it when I've got the brake line in, 
which is goes inside the engine bay. And then there's a couple of bits that run down the side of the car. Um, it's up to you if you do that now or if you do it later on. It's completely up to you. If you want to get that, you need to check probably the next video because I won't. Don't think I'll have time to do that in this video. So yeah, we've got coil spring in there. This one's tricky sometimes to get lined up. Come on. There we go. That's that one. I'll just put the brake drum on now. So what we need is a six mil for the bottom of the suspension. So that's two six mils underneath the shock absorber sometimes. It's tricky to get the back one. So it's one, two, and then it'll be a fourteen. It should be a fourteen for this one. There we go. So the rear end's a lot simpler than the front. But um, to be fair, the front's not massively complicated. Um, I'm going to take a guess at a 10 mil in the back of here. So if I press the Q key, uh, 12, yeah, 12 mil. So 12 on the back of here. I do apologise if you're trying to follow this as a bread and butter guide. I'm just doing this purely from memory. So. I'll have to excuse the guessing. So we'll move this round here. We'll grab these bits and just chuck them up a bit further. It's a bit easier for us to grab all of. Call spring. So we'll grab trailing arm first. Not before. Put that in there. We've already got the 12 mil, so we should just be able to put those ones in. One and two. And we'll grab the coil spring. Not drop it on the floor. Put that in there. Put the brake drum on now. There we go. Yes, we will. And then try and get the suspension leg to line up where it's supposed to be. I don't know. There we go. So we need six at the bottom. One. Same thing as the other side, two in the bottom. And then a 14. For the drum. Oh, so that is the rear end done. And then we'll just go and fetch the other two wheels. One from that side. I think it may want jacking on. Oh, there we go. Stand corrected. Grab the other one. Pop that one on. So, same as before, 13mm. I'm assuming these are a millimetre measurement. I'm just taking a quick guess. Three and a four. So that's the wheels tightened up on that side. Last one. One. Two. 
line. And four. There we go. So that's front end done. Rear end all done. Oh, the jack down. Take that back inside now because shouldn't need that anymore. What I'll do is just quickly I'll uh, put the no, don't need to raise. I'll put this uh, steering column in, and because what we really need to do is we need to get this in. No. And grab the steering wheel at the top of here. Pop that on as well. Grab the toolkit. Now, for this, I think there's a 9mm just inside here. No, not mine. Maybe. Yep. So two eight mils on the bottom, and that will attach the steering column to the steering rack. And it's going to be a guessing game with the steering wheel because I cannot remember to laugh on which size that is. It's not an eight. Let's try a ten. Lucky guess. The time wheel for the steering wheel. Now we have a car that should easily push into there. And then what we've got is we've got the steering wheel, steering wheel as well, just in case we need to turn it slightly left or right. So what we'll do. So we'll just start with J key. Yeah, so get the J key. Just give it gentle nudges. Just keep looking to the side. As you can see there, it's going to start to clip on the side of that. Push it too much. Oh no, it's just going in quite nicely actually. What we can do is we can just. Oh no. No, I don't want to be pushing it in. All I have to do is just. This wasn't supposed to happen. So I'll push it back out and just pop out there. Hopefully, we haven't damaged it too much. This is why I tend not to put the body panels on until sort of last minute. So I'll just go outside, take that off. And I'll just push the rear in a little bit. Try to push the door, door to on it, doesn't it? Alright, so it should. Doesn't look quite straight to me. A little bit more of a nudge. Well, looks straight enough to me, so I'll we'll just give it little taps this time. So we we'll just walk up to it and then push back. So I like to get it just so you can get down the steps. Again, not supposed to happen like that. Push it back out. Come on. Out you go. Try it 
destroying him. We'll push this up and around again. Okay. See what I mean about the physics just being really trolling. Should be fine. Go on that. It's time we take a little bit more caution. That looks like it's gonna jump in again. So go around the front and just nudge it ever so slightly. Back around the back. And just push it on. Just so you can get down the steps. And that should be fine now. I might nudge it over just a little bit more. I don't want to push it in too much because we will eventually because we'll need to get the engine in. But um, we want as much room as we can get around here for assembling the engine. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to put an order through or this clock. This set of clocks. So you've got the air fuel ratio um, dial here, uh, battery, water pressure, oil pressure gauge, and this toolkit. What we'll do is next episode, what we'll do is hopefully we'll start to get a few more sewage jobs. And we'll be able to uh, get a few in lock and the town, I can't remember what the town's called now. Just get right to it quickly. Have another quick drink. Turn it off. So yeah guys, now it's getting a bit dark, I think we might actually go and stop. What I'll do next episode is we'll, we'll, we'll head over to the, there's a, like a uh, woodshed over there where the tractor is. Um, we'll go and fill the tractor, uh, the trailer up for the tractor for when the guy with the firewood rings. Um, he's just, I think he's around about there. Um, he'll ring up every now and again and ask for a trailer full of firewood. So we'll get that prepared so we're not waiting on it when he actually calls. We can just take it straight to him. Um, we'll do that. Hopefully we'll get some more sewage jobs um, while I'm starting to build some of the engine so we'll start with the main block put the pistons in get the main part of the engine done or as much as we can do and uh, hopefully if i get enough sewage jobs i can take the sewage truck to the town post that letter off and uh, wait for that to arrive so if you like this video guys make sure to hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe, more videos on mice and my car and anything else in the future, make sure to check out my other videos, and until the next episode, try not to die, in mice and my car. <laughs>